वेलकम टू शिक्षा मंत्रा शिक्षा मंत्रा में आज हम कुछ डिफरेंट डिस्कशन करेंगे लोग वेनी बाप वी आर हियर इन शिक्षा मंत्रा इन सम एजु ब्लॉगिंग वी हैव चोजन सम एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी टॉपिक एंड दिस टाइम वी हैव आल्सो चोजन अ टॉपिक दैट इज क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स बट the most striking factor about choosing this topic is that most of the time we get confused we get confused regarding this this particular part in english grammar and that is relative adverbs relative adverbs yes dear friends whenever you consider of relative clauses what you do you make things jumbled up relative adverbs and relative pronouns so it's it's very essential for us to find out what is a relative adverbs and we must learn it properly so today we are here to find out the relative adverbs and very striking features that they have so let's explore what's there in relative adverbs Yes, dear friends. Here, when we talk of relative adverbs, we have to find out a very, very critical point. That is, why do we use relative clause? This is our first point. This is uh, the thing that we have to learn first. Why do we use relative adverbs? It's obviously to join two different clauses or two different sentences. So, what we are going to join? we are going to join a particular clause with another clause that means a principal clause with a subordinate clause yes dear friends and here the subordinate clauses that we will join with a principal clause need what need a conjunction and if we say it particularly it needs a subordinate conjunction and here in this subordinating conjunction sections particularly when we talk of relative clauses we can use either relative adverbs or relative pronouns so here we will learn how we use relative adverbs but here first you must know what are the relative adverbs when we talk of relative adverbs we get these only and who are they they are Both which are the relative adverbs? There, where, when, and why. So we have three relative adverbs here: where, when, and why. Now, as we use these three relative adverbs in our sentences or in joining different clauses, we must remember that the same sentence we can produce. either by using relative adverbs or by using relative pronouns but when we use relative pronouns the construction or the structure that follows there and uh, if we uh, particularly speak of it what we get there is a preposition plus which construction this construction we get there preposition plus which and this preposition plus which construction uh, it makes our sentence in relative clauses by joining them by using them in relative pronouns so as we share preposition plus which which is here a relative pronoun but together the impact that they produce is relative adverbs so this is a very very typical thing to do you can replace a relative adverbs with preposition plus which constructions and at the same time you may use a preposition plus which construction to replace a relative adverb so when they mean the same when there's no practical differences why should we follow it why is it essential for us to learn that's a question that we have to understand now 
just remember one thing. It's essential. Why it is essential? It's because when you want to produce a very, very formal structure, a very formal structure, then you have to use that proposition plus which this this thing. Here obviously you have to use this construction proposition plus which. This is the construction for you to produce a very very formal sentence. But as you want not to get so much formal about it, there you have where, when and why that means the relative adverbs to use to produce the sentences. That's it. So for less formal sentences you have to use relative adverbs but when you seriously need some formal sentences. Formal sentences are your serious need. There you have to use proposition plus which construction. So here we have a list where we'll uh, find out this proposition plus which construction as well as how it is uh, replaced with the relative adverb. Formal structure proposition plus which. So how it goes? Suppose uh, we have a sentence here. That's the restaurant in which we met for the first time. That's the restaurant in which. So we have used proposition in plus which. This construction in which. Now what does it mean? This in which it practically means a place. It relates to a place. Now we can replace it with a relative adverb. And this relative adverb would obviously be where. So the same sentence only will replace in which with where. So what uh, it will make? It will make that's the restaurant where we met for the first time. That's the restaurant where we met for the first time. The same sentence only we have replaced in which with where. Now if you look at the Next sentence, the picture, that picture was taken in the park at which I used to play, at which, again preposition plus which construction. And uh, here we also replace it with where, place, that picture was taken in the park where we used to play, that's it. So it doesn't matter what preposition you are using, whether it's at which or in which, that doesn't matter much. The preposition will be used as the rules of proposition. So what, uh, what, what rules we follow in using preposition so will be followed there as well. So it's not of much importance. The impact that it produces, that's the most important thing. That means the antecedent noun is most important. When you say restaurant, park, and it means a place, obviously we have to use where as well as that book. It's that simple. Then, if you consider the next sentence, the third sentence, I remember the day on which we first met. Look, day on which. So again, it, it produces an impact of time. So we use when. And the next sentence also, in which. There was a very hot summer, the year in which he was born. So in which, again, summer, it represents time summer or summer the year it represents times so in which will have the impact of time so the leaves when that's it but the fourth sentence look at this sentence tell me the reason for which you came home late for which but before for which this is the this is the construction we were discussing of proposition plus which that's the constructions but before this construction, here we have for which, but it's added with the reason. So the reason for which. So what 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 we have here? We have here the reason for which. Just uh, have a look at it. The reason for which. So the reason it speaks clearly that there's why is in demand. And also, the reason is uh, written there in the bracket. You may do it, you may not, it's up to you. But 
the reason and why it's very essential. You have to use it. So here we have found out how preposition plus which construction is used in formal sentences to produce some relative clauses and obviously we may replace them with relative adverbs if we want to produce a, a sentence in a less formal mode. So that's the difference. It's uh, so very simple, but it's so very important because most of the time I found my students getting confused with early this. But there's nothing to get confused. You can use a dog. Only you have to have the proper knowledge of what to use, where to use and how to use. So that's the question. That's the matter that we must keep in this question. This is the this is the most important thing to understand. This is the most important thing to feel. This is the most important thing to come here in your learning. So that's it. That's how we may use very bad books. But before we uh, close this topic, before we close this uh, edu vlogging, this discussion, uh, I want to tell you something that will be of uh, much use for you. You just go to the description uh, that's there below and uh, in the description you will find the link of my telegram channel. So why, why you uh, must visit the telegram channel because uh, it's very difficult for you to uh, take a screenshot from here and get the sentences and whatever is written properly. I will put this in my telegram channel. So from there you can very easily find out this particular template and it will uh, support your learning so it's for your benefit uh, most of the times whatever I uh, put here in my YouTube channel I put them in uh, my telegram as well so it will be much helpful for you to visit my telegram channel and subscribe it so that's all about Rory Bad Woods. We are returning very soon with another fresh discussion in Shiksha Bantra's edu vlogging. Until then, bye bye, happy learning.